all display collectible figures like this really takes me back. For Nikki Flash, Nikki Nightwing, and some other classics. I loved this one growing up. That was so fun. Skater Die. This one, I recently bought this one actually. Got a case for it too online. Roger Clemens MVP baseball in the case for $2.99. Man, that was one of my favorites. <laughs> So it was like $22. It was $22, but then I was able to use $16 store credit that I had thanks to Brittany for my Christmas gift last year. And I finally just used it up. We found, we kept it very classic today. Three Ninjas. I had this on VHS. It got lost years ago, I think in the move or whatever, when I was a kid, but I had to get it. I did not have this yet, and it's the DVD, brand new sealed copy. <laughs> this was a classic staple growing up for me. I loved this one. Aside from Sidekicks with Chuck Norris, if you haven't seen Sidekicks with Chuck Norris, I can only find it on VHS. I can't find it on DVD anywhere. I guess they didn't port it over to DVD, which is kind of a shame. This next one we found, Roger Clemens MVP Baseball. I grew up with this one. Sega Genesis, another classic. And this was only $2.99. And it was the original case, it looks like, from the Sega Genesis. So there was no way I was gonna pass this one up. This was one of my favorites. And as you saw earlier, I was looking at those baseball figures and I was really intrigued. There weren't any that were really like catching my eye to buy, but honestly for six bucks for some of those figures, they weren't bad. Lastly, lastly, I wanted to get one of these Dragon Ball mystery figures. And I went with Goku in his wedding tux to kind of keep me in check. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Goku, welcome to the family. <sighs> there was multiple different ones you could get here. I kind of, this one didn't have it. I kind of liked the other ones that had Shinron, the dragon, and then they also had the Dragon Balls in like, I guess it was some kind of gold bowl which was pretty cool too. But I went with Goku and his tux. I might later get Chi Chi in her wedding dress. I don't know, we'll see though. But again, 10 bucks, not a terrible price for a little Ban Presto Bandai figure. So let's see what I got. I, okay. So if you can see here, they are marked. Like each one had an X behind it, even though it says on here, minifigure blind box. It should be this one that's on the on the cover. So I would be very shocked and kind of upset if it's not, but let's find out. All right, sorry for the weird angle too, by the way. I thought I had my pistol grip camera phone holder, but I don't. So it's in my backpack at home. So anyways, this should be Goku in his tux. And by the way, if you guys have not yet seen the Dragon Ball Super, I can't remember exactly what it's called, the Super movie that just came out in theaters. It was very short-lived in theaters, and I feel like a lot of anime movies don't stay in theaters super long. 
it was really good. I was, uh, I, I was, I was, I was satisfied with it. It was, it was different than what I was, I thought it was going to be, which is good, but sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not so good, but it was enjoyable. The graphics were very different too. It was almost kind of like my coworker, Josh said, it was kind of like you were playing a video game. Yes. So we got Goku in his tux and it comes with a little stand. I love that. That is awesome. So nice little red stand. Honestly, these are really cool for like 10 bucks. I mean, vintage stock is a little overpriced, but honestly, maybe, I don't know if any, I haven't seen them anywhere else. So, but I love that if you guys can see. So there he is, just really cool. I mean, he still looks bad in his tux. Bad meaning BA, obviously. But. And again, 10 bucks. I like that it's not a blind, blind box. It's just what they're calling it. So really cool. If you want to check them out. If you do know where they're a little bit cheaper, please let me know in the comments. I would love to pick up maybe one or two more. So I dig it. So again, that's all we got. The most expensive thing was the band Presto figure. Six bucks for a brand new sealed Ninja, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> hey, it says it on the cover. It does say it on the cover. Crosses Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Home Alone. Three ninjas for $6.99 sealed copy, brand new, and Roger Clemens MVP Baseball, Sega Genesis, $2.99 in box. Like, I love it, so. And I really also wanted to get that Robin Hood comic. I almost got the Ultra Prime comic because I actually have the Ultra Prime action figure, but the Robin Hood comic smelled like, almost kind of like a musty, moldy smell. And originally I was thinking like, okay, I'll just put it in like a frame and hang it on the wall, some kind of type of thing with the comic book to display it. But I was like, you know what? I don't know. That's the problem with like used old comics is that they can tend to have a smell if pages get wet or moisture or whatever. So it's kind of a bummer, but it was an awesome classic and Robin Hood is one of my all time favorites. So it was hard to not do it, but I was like, I mean, yeah, it could have only been a dollar, but I don't know. It'd just be, it's just one of those things where it's like, if there was any kind of damage from like musty moldy smell or something, I didn't want to risk that. So we just waited on the comics for today. That's just the random little kind of mini quick ups haul that we did here at Vintage Stock, if you can see it there. Sunshade flaps on the way. But I hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.